What's going on everyone? In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my daily routine and how that's impacted my life over the last half a decade and how you can also take it and simply implement some of those in your daily life. Now, if this is your very first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Bashar Katu and um, I own BJK University, which is a company on a mission to impact one million lives. Now, you know, over the past half a decade or so, as especially I migrated online and tried to, you know, get into the online industry, and especially after I started working from home or trying to work from home, it was sometimes a little difficult to kind of get going in the morning. And you see, one of the very important things of your life or of your day um, is your morning, is how you start your morning is really important. Now, I tried doing the whole 4 a.m., 5 a.m. thing, and I know that a lot of great athletes, a lot of great actors, a lot of great successful human beings always talk about waking up early because by nine o'clock, you've already had four or five hours of work. When everyone is just waking up and going to work, you've already put in pretty much half a shift and you've done a lot of the work on your personal self. But you see, I just wasn't the person that was able to wake up in the morning and I tried and you know what? It feels really good when you wake up before the sun is actually going up. It feels really, really, really good. But the problem, what I noticed is, it's not about the routine that you're doing that matters or what you do that matters, but what matters most is staying consistent with the routine. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about that, but do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button because it truly helps us rank in the algorithm. So what I decided to do is, one time I was watching a video and this guy said that in order for a human being to be able to start a new habit or to simply be consistent with a new habit or to create, establish a new habit, you need to do it for 21 consecutive days. Or if you are doing a task, you need to do it for 21 consecutive times in order for you to actually formulate it into a habit and now it becomes part of your day-to-day -day or part of the thing that you do, right? So if you're reading books and you wanna spend 10 minutes a day, well, you gotta do that for 21 consecutive days. If you wanna wake up at 5 a.m., you gotta do it for at least 21 days and then it just becomes a habit and it's just second nature, right? You don't even need to force yourself to do it. So again, I forced myself to wake up at 5 a.m. for the longest time, but I would just sacrifice sleep. And I sometimes I would go to sleep at 12 or even one o'clock. And what I, what's happening is I was only having four or five hours of sleep. But then what I realized is getting enough sleep was more important for me to, uh, uh, to get in rather than waking up early. Because I realized that if I'm not sleeping a minimum of seven to eight hours every single day, then what's happening is that my entire day, the rest of the day is really just sacrificing. So what I realized is that it doesn't matter the amount of hours that you're sleeping. What matters is the amount of hours that you're awake. What are you doing in those hours? And that, you know, sometimes when I talk about sleeping seven, eight hours, a lot of people ask me, well, yeah, you probably don't have kids. Well, yeah, you probably don't have did this or don't have that. You know, you've got 24 hours in a single day. And if you're trying to tell me you cannot find a minimum of seven, eight hours to sleep, then you really have to look at the rest of the day and look at what are you doing? How many hours are you spending in front of the TV? How many hours are you spending doing things that you really shouldn't be doing? Like cooking, like cleaning. And I understand that, you know, different parts of, of, of your life, different times of your life, you can't just afford to go, you know, have a, a personal chef or have a, you know, a, a maid service or whatever clean for you. And I get that, right? And because that was me a few years ago. But as you progress in life and as you, uh, your finances start improving, the very first thing they have to start looking at is how to gain the one resource that is not duplicatable and that's your time. That's very important. Is that instead of going and buying the Gucci bag or buying a, the BMW or buying a bigger house or renting a bigger apartment, the very first thing they wanna look at is how can I gain more of my time? What can I do to take back my time? Because that's the one resource that is not replaceable, that is not duplicatable, and that is the most important resource that we have because we only have one of it. We only have one hour on a Sunday or on January 31st or whatever Sunday is, right? That's it. It doesn't happen again. It's never gonna happen again, right? 
but we'll always have another thousand. We'll always have another 10,000. We'll always make another 100,000, right? You, some people will make it in an hour. Some people, some people will make it in 10 years, right? So it just depends on what you're doing. So what I want to go back to is my morning routine and what I actually do. So the very first thing that I like to do is, first of all, when I go to sleep, I go to sleep without a phone. So I make sure that I go to sleep turn off my phone and go to sleep. Now, some people say, well, I don't, I can't wake up without an alarm. Well, that's the other thing is because you need to fix your sleep. You need to fix the time you go to sleep and the time you wake up. If you have seven or eight hours of sleep, your body will just wake up by itself. So for me, I wake up anywhere between seven to 7.30. That time, the first two hours of your morning are the most important time of your day. You want to make sure that you do absolutely nothing and you take what is called a me time. I call that a me time. Some people meditate, I don't. Some people like to pray, which I do in the morning. Some people like to read, which I do in the morning. Some people like to exercise, which I do in the morning. And I'll kind of break that down to you guys here in this video as well. But the very first thing I do is I literally just go in the, in the bathroom, lights off, I sit on the toilet, you know, I do that. And I'll be there for 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes minimum. And usually what happens is your brain is very fuzzy. And one thing that I realized is the, usually the last thoughts that you had the night before, before you fell asleep, are the things that you're gonna start remembering the very first thing in the morning. So what you wanna do is if you are wanting to solve an important problem, I would be thinking about it right before I go to sleep. So that way when you first wake up, you have all of your energy, all of your juices, and that's the very most important time of your morning. So the first 30, 45 minutes, absolutely quiet, dark in the bathroom, and I just sit there and just gonna let my brain do its thing. No phones, nothing, right? And usually that's about between 7.30 to eight o'clock. And then what I'll do is around eight to 8.15, I'll go to, I'll hit the gym and I'll do a good 45 minute workout. And then from there I'll come back and I'll shower. I'll also shower in the dark, completely dark. And usually my showers are minimum 15 to 30 minutes. And in the shower, I'm also thinking, I'm also allowing my brain until now. I still haven't touched the phone. I haven't touched any electronics. I haven't done any, uh, um, what's it called? I haven't done any work. I haven't done any of that. Right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the shower and usually in the shower, I'll do a few things. Some people might agree with me. Some people might think that this is wrong or whatever, but I like to do it. Um, what I do is I will uh, uh, pray in the, in the shower and I will say my affirmations in the shower as, as well, which is just affirming about you know who I am, what I wanna do, what I wanna accomplish, especially inside of this year. And usually my affirmations are one year long. So I want to do X, Y, and Z. I wanna do this, I wanna have that, I wanna do that. And usually when I say my affirmations, they are present tense as if they've already happened, not I want them to happen like in the future, cool? Um, and then after that, I'll get out of the shower. I'll do a, a, um, a small protein shake that's got 30 grams of uh, protein. And then I will do a yogurt, small yogurt, non -sugar, no sugar, uh, 10 grams of protein. So got about 40 grams of protein right there. And usually that's about 9.30 a.m. Um, on Saturdays and Wednesdays, I like to shave. Uh, other, other than that, get out of the shower, change, put on my clothes. I already know what I'm gonna wear. It takes me two seconds to get dressed. And then I'll read from 9.30 to 10 a.m. is my reading time. And that's when I'll get in about eight to, 10, uh, eight to 10 pages of anything that I'm reading, any book that I'm reading. Sometimes I'll go a little extra if I'm really enjoying what I'm reading and like, you know, instead of reading 10 pages, I need to read 12 or 13 because the chapter is just a little longer than usual. Sometimes I'll go to 10, 15, uh, 10, 20. But usually from 9.30 to 10 o'clock is when I'm doing my reading. So now what's happened is I've had about two and a half three hours of just me time. I still haven't touched the computer. I haven't touched my phone. I haven't done any electronics. I have not had any interaction with people except the gym. And usually in the morning, the gym is pretty quiet, especially on you know Tuesday, Wednesday and on. Uh, there's two, three people and I've got nothing to do with them. I'm in my zone, I'm in my place doing my workout. I'll get in there 30, 45 minutes, do my workout and get out and that's it, right? And if you guys like, let me know in the comments, but I can do another video that goes about what my workouts are. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the videos and I'll make a whole nother workout, uh, another video just talking about my workouts. So then 10 o'clock is usually when I start working. The first hour, I don't do any meetings. I, I just want to get in, I'll check my email, I'll check our community group if I have messages on there, and then I'll check our Slack channel, which is where I communicate with our team. I'll clear all those messages. It'll usually take me anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, if I've got long emails to read or, or write. 
And then that's it. And then I'm done there. And then my, usually if I have meetings, my meetings do not start until 11 o'clock because I don't want to start interacting with people until at least 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then usually I'll take that extra 30 minutes to think a little bit more about what am I going to do about my day? How exactly do I want to spend my day? What are the important tasks that I have going on that I want to make sure that I hammer today? Maybe it's, you know, uh, uh, working on a project. Maybe it's, uh, uh, you know, inspiring someone in a certain way. And then also that 30 minutes, every other day, I make two videos. And those videos are only internally. Those are videos that you guys don't see. So these videos that I make for you guys, like our content on Instagram, our content on YouTube, I only do those on Saturdays. So today is Saturday and I'm shooting for the entire uh, week. But every other day throughout the week, I do internal videos. One video, one day, it's one video for our team that only our team sees. And one day, the second day, is a video for our community group, our students. And usually those videos are inspirational videos. They're usually talking about our culture, talking about our mission, our vision, talking about, you know, uh, 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 maybe the day before something happened in my life and, I, I, and it just clicked for me. I had an aha moment. Like yesterday, I had an aha moment about my taxes. And we'll probably be making a video about that, uh, explaining to you guys how, well, actually, I don't want to spoil it, but what happened to my taxes in 2021 and what am I going to do for 2022? Because we have huge tax bills that we have to worry about, right? But it's usually I take a story and I, and I try to come up with a story around a, a principle or a core value that I want to deliver to either our students. Again, one day is for our students, one day is for our team so I can inspire them because one thing about be, being the leader, being the, the driver of the company is, you know, your job is not to tell people what to do. Your job is to inspire people and give them purpose in life so that they can be excited and get motivated to doing and innovating. It's not about giving them a task list and saying, hey, these are the things they need to do. No, it's more about, look, here's the opportunity. Here's where we're trying to go. We want to impact the lives of 1 million people and be creative. If you fail, great, no problem. We will learn what we did and then we'll go about it that way. If you, if you, uh, you know, found a, a, a cool new way that's going to improve our students' results, improve the company, grow the company, awesome. Let's implement that and let's keep going. So that's kind of my job is inspiring. And then from there, 11 on, it's usually tasks, you know, uh, meetings or whatever else that I need to do. But this is how I spend my morning. And again, it's very important for you the first two, three hours, they are the most productive. You are, all of your juices are flowing. Everything in, in your day is, is just going to start. So it's very important that the first two, three hours of your day, you take some time for yourself. I would say interact with as little po people possible. In fact, no people. Don't get on your phone, no Instagram, don't look at my stuff. Uh, you know, do that maybe at night when you're going to sleep. Uh, uh, don't look at any, anybody's stuff. Just think, just give yourself some time to think. Sometimes I like to just grab a notebook and just sit with myself for a little bit. And that's when really all the ideas start flowing. And that's when everything, all the, the genius comes out. Outside of that, I hope that you guys found this video valuable. Please let us know in the comments what more you'd like to see from this channel. Do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.